top of the fence here. Let's see, where's he at? I don't see him. Let's move around the back here, see if we have a little better cover here. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh, shit. Damn, he pulled a gun on me. Pretty pit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car, okay. Uh, thank you, bulletproof windows. Get down on the ground. You should be able to see your back up there. Just off your 20. Welcome to my Golden Games and welcome back to LSPDFR. This episode is subscriber request by Guno66 and Curtis DiStefano. And they wanted us to do a martial law patrol and also a military patrol in a Dodge Ram. So for this one we have martial law in effect right now. So what we're going to be doing is flying from the military base in Blaine County. We're going to be flying into Los Santos. Once we land at the airport we'll switch over into the Dodge Ram. Uh, these all, all these guys aren't going to be patrolling with us. We're only going to have a few of them patrolling with us. But they're going to help reinforce the airport. And, you know, they're going to do their own patrols and whatnot as well. But, all right, boys, let's load up in the chopper and let's head into Los Santos. So I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, please hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. As well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up and when we do live streams. I'm not even sure how many guys we can actually get in the helicopter. Okay, I'm pretty sure in online this helicopter can hold like 8 people or 12 people or something. It's kind of disappointing, so we'll just ignore those last two guys. Uh, so let's go in first person here because it's been a long time since we've used this helicopter. And honestly, it is a really cool vehicle. It's just, you know, the vanilla, you know, Chinook basically. But I gotta say, it is cool in first person. Alright, so we're gonna fly this way. And let's flip around this way. All right, and then, so this is Wolf Squad 1, 2, air traffic control. We are going to be heading uh, east down the runway in the helicopter, and we are going to be heading over to Los Santos International Airport to reinforce the airport. Copy that, air traffic control. So, like I said, we are going to be flying into Los Santos, as martial law is currently in effect right now. And once we get there, we're about probably a two-hour flight because, uh, you know, this helicopter is not the quickest. And, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys once we get into Los Santos. We do have a bit of a flight here. So, again, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions or requested episodes you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments below as well. So I will see you guys once we get a little bit closer to Los Santos. This is Wolf 1 to air traffic control at LSAI. We are approaching the airport now. We're just coming over the observatory. Uh, we are about three miles out. Copy that air traffic control. All right, so boys, we are getting into Los Santos now. We are just flying over the city. And like I said, this helicopter is not the quickest. So it took us quite a bit to get here. But everybody is loaded up and ready to go. Everybody's had their energy drinks and all that good stuff. Need a sponsor still. No, nobody, nobody has you know wanted to sponsor the channel yet. So maybe you could put some feelers out for me and uh, you know see if you could get us a sponsor for the channel. And also, if you haven't, check out our Discord server. It is linked in the description of the video below. We've got some military helicopters flying over there as well, as you can see right over there. It might be a little hard to see on a small screen, but we had two helicopters flying right over there. Wolf 1 to air traffic control at LSAI. We are approaching the runway now. We are going to be making our departure, our uh, descending down to the airport now. All right, copy that. All right, so it looks like they do have some perimeter guards already set at the airport. But like I said, we're going to be reinforcing them. We're going to be patrolling around the city in the Dodge Ram, which actually, once we get down there, I'll show you it. But Carter J was the one who did the livery for this one. Like I say, it looks freaking a baller. So anyways, let's see. We want to land over this way. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, aircraft control. This is Air 1. Or Wolf 1. This Wolf 1 to aircraft control. We are making our descent now. We're going to be landing. All right, so let's get in third person here. And we're just going to land right over... Right over this way. Yikes. Okay. Maybe if we go in first person, it'll be little easier here all right so we got another helicopter over there so we just got to be careful not to hit them looks like they're going to be patrolling the waters right now that's the u.s coast guard let's 
carefully to part here. And there we go. Oh, there they go. Beautiful helicopter. That's a bell. Nice. Alright, let's land it. Careful, careful. A little, 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 uh, windy today. We do have a lot of smog moving in as well. Alright, so we have landed, so let's get out here. Alright, boys, let's move out. Uh, we should have our vehicle, I believe they said right on the other side of this uh, little office here. Alright boys, here is Blue Ghost Stodge Ram, and this livery was done by, you know, Carter J. I gotta say, this livery does look freaking sexy. I believe we've used this livery once before. But yeah, so we're, like I said, we're doing a military patrol in, uh, during martial law, so should be a little interesting. Hopefully, you know, we get some really fun calls. Uh, you know what, I think we will patrol with these guys. I uh, just bet you can show me available. And let's get inside the truck here. Alright, boys, let's load up in the ram. Uh, looks like we do have our weapons ready to go in here. Alright, there we go. And loading up. Beautiful. And we'll check the first person really quick. Okay, so the high ends don't line up, but you know what? They're not not too big of a deal. I really do like the light bar, the ELS box up there. How you can see all the LEDs working and everything. Uh, we got the guys in the back there. We are good. We will not be arresting anybody, or at least taking them with us. But, uh, yeah, let's get around this way then. Ooh, look at that sexy Hummer. Hey, boys, how's it going? Not too much been going on lately? All right, that's good, that's good. All right, let's get out on the road then. So, boys, let's get out on the road then. Uh, so it is starting to get dark out, so these people are going to need to start heading indoors because they are not supposed to be outside right now. All right, so boys, we are going to be getting into the city now, so we're going to get around the airport here. Uh, looks like we have an officer that pulled someone over there. Actually, it looked like I didn't see anybody in the driver's seat. I could be wrong. Looked like they might have been giving them a ticket. Uh, we do have another. Oh, we have a body found. Okay. Oh. Oh, copy that, dispatch. Uh, we just had an explosion, so we're going to respond to that code 3. Let's get around this way here. Oh, boy, just drive over that. No big deal. And let's see, where can we go inside? Uh, dispatch, we are arriving on scene now. Let's see, where are they? Okay, there's a car that just exploded. That was the explosion we heard. Let's get our sirens off. Um, okay, boys. Okay, yikes. Let's get over here and... Yeah, uh, that person is definitely dead. Okay, dispatch, let's get EMS. Jeez. Not EMS. Let's get the coroner down here. Dispatch, let's get the uh, coroner down here to New Empire Way. And then we'll need to get a, a tow truck for this truck. But let's search the vehicle really quick before they get here. And see what we can find. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the uniform, too. I've used this in the past a few times, but I do love the EUP vest and earpiece mod. Like, the vest they added to the game looks so good. Oh, no. Corner's unseen. You know what? No. Corner's fine. It's the tow truck I need to worry about. A beach towel, a pack of new ports, a drone phone, okay, guy fox in a mask, 12 grams of that, a baggie of that. Mmm. He's got a lot of the meh. And uh, nothing of interest. Okay. So, corner's unseen dispatch. Looks like we got a few backup units on scene as well. Uh, got enough pictures, you'll timestamp them. Alright, copy that. Uh, let me see. Let me dismiss somebody here. I mean, this guy, we really don't. Wait a second. I just realized I don't have my shoulder or my uh, thigh holster on. What happened to my thigh holster? I could have sworn I had one on at the beginning. Okay. Uh, did I just dismiss both of them? Okay, are you serious? That's bogus. It clearly wasn't working. Okay, whatever. We got two partners with us now. Not a big deal. Alright, um... The tow truck. We're just gonna get back on patrol, I guess. Switch, we're gonna be code for on this one. Our right, boys, load up. Uh, let's get the lights off. Scroll lock. There we go. Okay, that truck is moving quick. What the... Okay, let's go after him. Dispatch, we've got a semi that just almost hit us. Uh, we're going to get our lights and sirens on. Pull him over. I need you to pull... Oh! Pull the vehicle over to the side of the road. All right, boys, let's move in, move in, move in. Rifles out. On the ground, dude. On the ground right now, dude. Sir, stop right there. Military police. What are you doing, bud? Come here. Bah! Got him. All right, let's get the uh, taser out. Oh! 
Good tase, good tase. I'm gonna tase him as well. Good job, boys. All right, down on the ground right now, military police. Let's go. Get down on the ground. What are you doing? Is this guy? I, I'm not sure if he's like stolen valor right now, or if he's just a soldier that you know trying to have a little bit of fun. You know, jack the semi for whatever reason he was thinking. Hi, right, boys. Watch your crossfire. All right, let me question this guy here. Uh, dispatch, let me get a pet check on... Okay, we're getting a little bit of lagginess now. What's going on? Dispatch, can I get a pet check on Matt Hartley? Born 10-10-1978. License valid, no active warrants. Uh, not in the military. Okay, copy that. He does not have a military license, and he is not in the military. So this guy thought he could, you know... Basically, just break the mil martial law and curfew and just kind of, you know, try to sneak around the city, you know, incognito because, you know, he's dressed as the military. But, yeah, he's not actually with the military. All right, sir, I'm going to need to uh, pat you down, so turn around for me. I'm going to search you myself. This guy is definitely getting some multiple felonies here. Let's see. Uh, ooh, a Java Mint. Ooh, not bad. I actually just had one of those. Uh, length of rubber hosing, butterfly knife, a can of pepper spray. Okay, so he's going to get charged with the butterfly knife as well. All right, dispatch, let's get a transport unit down to New Empire Way for the suspect. Okay, um, the semi, we're going to need to search it really quick as well. And then we'll get a tow truck for that because that's just blocking our way. We'll need to get a big rig, or a big wrecker, to get this thing towed out of the way. Alright, so there is nothing of interest in the semi. <laughs> Little disappointing. Oh, there was another Java Mint, though. Uh, let's get a tow truck. Uh, a tow truck. No, can we not get a tow truck for this thing? Uh, apparently, we cannot get a tow truck for it. So, in that case, I'll just have to move it out of the way, then. Alright, bo bo boys, can you please move? Move! I'm just gonna tap him there, no big deal, he's fine. He's perfectly fine. Oh, I did not break that fence, we're good. Just, uh, park right up there. Alright, come on, boys, let's get back to our truck. Ugh, I just tripped on the fence, ow! Come on, come on, we're good. Man, he smashed the front of the truck up. But, you know, this is a ram, so it's pretty tough. So, you know, it didn't do too much damage to it. And he smashed the front grill up a bit, but it's fine. Uh, come on, boys, load up. All right, dispatch, we are going to be getting back on patrol now. You can show us available. We're going to be heading north on New Empire Way. Going to be getting into the city now. But again, I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, please hit the like button. That really does help me out when you do that. And maybe consider subscribing if you have... Oh! Okay. Really going to spawn right in front of me. Nobody saw that. We're just going to we're just gonna keep going. Seriously, hit the like button if you do enjoy the episode. All right. And then also, again, check out the Discord server if you want to come hang out with us. And maybe be a part of some of our live streams. Uh, maybe our Roblox episodes as well. Yep, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, anyways, let's get down this way. And we'll do a little bit of off-roading because... Right now, like I said, we're under martial law, so nobody should be on the streets right now. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to drive up that, no big deal. We are a little behind now due to that uh, explosion at the beginning there. And then the guy trying to uh, ram us with the semi. Uh, let's see. We'll keep going this way then. Dispatch, we are currently heading east on Dutch London Street. Uh, we're going to be turning left onto Lowstein Boulevard. All right, copy that dispatch. Uh, suspicious subject, humane labs. Okay, that's nowhere near us, so we're gonna have to send that to another unit. Maybe the U.S. Marshals can do that. Let's pull up here. We're gonna be making a stop off at the uh, police station right over here. See how they're holding up. I mean, at the moment, there's not too much going on. There's really no rioting currently going on, so. Hopefully everybody's doing fine. Let's see. Let's pull up here. All right, they got a deputy standing out front. All right, looks like he's doing fine. All right, we'll keep moving this way. Let's get back over there. Oh, okay, where's this guy going? Especially we got a visual on a vehicle driving on the road. 
Let's get a play check on them if we can. Oh, that was a close one. Uh, it's an Issy Lessons uh, 03 Oceans King X ray 138. Michael Kane. Three citations, no flags. They just put their top down. I copied that dispatch. We'll pull them over. Sir, I need you to pull the vehicle over to the side of the road. Military police, we are under martial law right now. I need you to pull over to the side of the road for me. Okay. Okay, let's see if it works. Hopefully he's pulling over. There we go. Alright, let's pull up right behind him here. Alright, boys, come on, let's go. Hello, sir. Military police, I need to speak with you. Uh, you got your documents, proof of insurance, registration, all that good stuff. Uh, Michael Kane, born yeah, 828, back. 1976. Uh, Kevin A. Red. Alright, so he, that checks out. Um, so let's go here. I'm going to have to ask him out of the vehicle. Nope, nope, that didn't work. You know what, we'll ignore that then. We'll let him go. He had some, uh, you know, essential business card for his job. So he was able to, you know, actually be on the road tonight. Uh, come on, boys. Let's get back in the vehicle, then. We'll get back on the road. Uh, vicious dog reported. Okay, copy that dispatch. Not sure why there's anybody reporting a suspicious dog. Assuming nobody's supposed to be on the, you know, streets right now. Uh, the dog is chipped. Uh. Is that it? I guess this is it. Okay. So we'll head over there, then. Let's flip around. Alright, dispatch, we are about 0.6 of a mile from the location. We'll be there in about 30 seconds or so. Let's get through the streets here. Yeah, so like I was saying, under martial law, there really shouldn't be too many people on the streets, other than, you know, those essential business workers, or should I say expendable business workers. Uh, but let's get around this way, take a left, and here's the other police department. Uh... Okay, maybe we'll take a stop at the police department and see how they're doing. Maybe grab some, you know, water or something while we're there. Maybe some coffee or donuts. Hopefully they got some donuts still. Anyways, dispatch, we are on scene looking for the dog now. What's that? I think that was garbage. We're going to check the parking lot here. Uh, I hear a dog. Oh, there we go, dispatch. We got a visual on the dog. All right, boys, let's pull up here. And get our lights on. Alright, dispatch. The dog is approaching us. I'm just going to get my Saturn out just in case. Hey, boy. <gasps> Who's a good doggo? Hi, hey buddy. What you doing, buddy? You good boy? Are you a good doggo? Dispatch. The dog's just currently standing there, kind of looking like what's going on right now. I'm going to attempt to approach the doggo. I'll put that away. I don't need it. Hey, buddy. Hey, are you okay, boy? <gasps> Good doggo. Uh, dispatch, let's get animal control down here to come grab the dog. Let's see if we can find their owner. <gasps> Good doggo. What happened? How'd you get outside, huh? <gasps> Good boy. I gotta say, the dog looks really good. Like, the textures and everything. They really do look, you know, pretty detailed. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, though, I mean... The, the, the fur and everything. The textures for the fur look... Yeah, quite a bit better. Quite a bit better. Except, actually, honestly, I don't know if Natural Vision Evolved changed the textures for the dogs. That'd be cool if it updated them. That would be pretty sick. Uh, it looks like we are going to be code 4 on that one, then. Alright, so it looks like we have a potential deal in progress, so we got to head down there. Uh, looks like my teammates have spawned above me. That's not good. Uh, you know, we'll just go to the scene. And they should hopefully teleport to us, maybe. Uh, but anyways, dispatch, we're about a quarter mile from the location. Uh, we'll get our lights off uh, right there. And let's see, let's come up around. We don't want to spook them. All right, dispatch, we're coming up on Elgin Avenue. We're going to take a left onto Hawick Avenue. And we'll see if we're able to spot the possible dealer. Let's see. Where are they? Inside that building? Okay. Dispatch, I'm on scene. I'm going to be moving in. 
Uh, I really don't have a visual on them. Uh, there goes another officer. Let's see, where, are, where is this guy? Alright, uh, right, dispatch, I'm on scene. I'm trying to move in. Oh, 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 that's not good, he sees me. Alright, let's move in. I'll have my side arm out just because we do know this guy is a possible dealer. Military police! Military police, sir! I need you to get down on the ground and watch your hands for me. Down on the ground, sir. Military police. What are you doing outside today? We're under martial law right now. Oh, sir, get down on the ground right now. Watch your hands down on the ground right now. Shit, sir, oh, drop the weapon! Drop the weapon, dude! Drop the weapon right now. Military police, drop the weapon. Okay, nope, okay, you're getting shot. Reloading, reloading. You do not move, dude. Do not move. Uh, one suspect down. Where's my backup at? Come on, boys. Uh, let me try and move in and secure this guy's weapon. And let's get this guy in cuffs. He had a Desert Eagle. Are you serious? Uh, hands behind your back, dude. You're under arrest. All right, let's try and get this guy in cuffs. There we go. One and two and three. Beautiful. All right, dispatch. We've got one suspect in custody. One suspect that has been shot multiple times. Let's get a code three ambulance down here, dispatch. Ambulance. All right, thank you. Let me see if I'm able to search this guy really quick. Uh, we found a pet collar around him. What? Alright, let's see what we can find on him. Uh, vanilla unicorn napkin with phone number and a banana. Okay, come on. Nothing on him? Alright, let's see. Question him. Alright, man, you want to tell me what's going on over here? You don't need to answer that. Okay, this guy just pulled a gun on me. We had reports that you were dealing something to him. You don't have any idea about that? Okay. Sir, do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's sharp that's going to stab me, poke me, or stick me? Maybe yes, maybe no. That really doesn't help, but, you know, turn around. I'm going to pat you down now. No, you know you're not supposed to be outside right now. We're under martial law. Okay, a pet collar. Uh, let's see, do we have anything laying on the ground that we can possibly pick up? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I was hoping we'd be able to find, like, evidence or something on the ground, but... Uh, dispatch, let's get a transport unit for the suspect. We're on Hawick Avenue and Meteor Street. Uh, they were unable to revive this guy, I take it? Okay, uh, dispatch, let me get... Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to get, uh... Uh, cancel. I wanted to get, um... The coroner down here for this guy. And yeah. instead it went into the, uh, CPR menu. Okay. We've got reports of an armored person in West Vinewood. Uh, copy that dispatch. Uh, was spotted with a firearm. Search the area. I right, copy that. We're moving back to our pickup truck. I'm waiting for my partners to get back to me. Let me see if I can go pick them up really quick. Let's try and get my partners. Come on, boys. Let's see, where are they? Oh, you know what? They're still on the roof. So let me dismiss them really quick. There we go. And let me just spawn in some new partners because they're kind of glitching out. And we'll get one more partner. There we go. Ah, uh, boys, hop in the truck. Let's get going. We have reports of an armored person. Are they not going to get in because the other two are trying to get in? Are you serious? Well, that's disappointing. Okay, whatever. We're a little bit of glitchiness there. Let's get over to the scene then. Let's get our lights on here. Dispatch, we are arriving on scene. Uh, you know what, boys? Let's pull up to here, get to some cover. And let's move up uh, with our rifles out. All right, boys, you ready for this? You got your rifle. All right, good. All right, let's move. You know what? Let's try first person. Why not? Hop the fence here. Let's see, where's he at? I don't see him. Let's move around the back here, see if we have a little better cover here. Uh, we might not be able to. That's not good. There we go. All right, moving up, moving up. Alright, dispatch, we are on Occupation Avenue behind some houses or apartments. We're going to try and stick to cover right now. 
Uh, looks like my other partners are showing up on scene now, so that's good. All right, I don't see anybody. Let's move up. All right, uh, let's see. I don't see anybody out there. Uh, dispatch, let's get a uh, SWAT unit down here as well to back us up. I definitely think a heavily armored person would require some more backup. Let's move around this way. You know what? Actually, let's get a good vantage point up here. Alright, SWAT's arriving on scene. Okay, so that's where we just came from. Uh, I'm not seeing this guy. I'm jumping down. Oh! Yikes! Hardcore parkour roll! Alright. Can we not get up that? Damn it! Alright, let's go back around this way. Alright, boys, let's keep moving. Let's get around this way. Uh, sprinting across. Let's see. We're gonna search the rest of this street to make sure we don't see anybody. And then we'll move to the north. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody. It looks like we're starting to get a little bit of texture loss. So I'm gonna head up this way then. It's possible he's inside. Oh, wait, we got somebody over here. Is that another officer or who is that? Oh, that was an officer, okay. Uh, looks like, uh, was that customs? All right, border patrol, I guess. We got that guy there. All right, let's get this guy over here. Sir, stop right there, military police. On the ground, dude, on the ground. Drop the phone, dude. Drop the weapon right now. Let's go, down on the ground. Watch your hands. Let's go. Do not move. All right, sir, just slowly place your hands behind your back. What is this for? We got reports that you were armed. Just gotta make sure. If you're not the guy, we'll let you go. But what are you doing on the street right now? We're under martial law right now, man. Special, let me get a pet check on Eric Wright, born 11-23-1998. Uh, license Val, no active warrants. Okay, sir, I'm going to pat you down. You know what, partner, let's pat you down. I'm going to move over this way really quick, just in case that's not our guy. Let's see. Uh, baggy of pills, Java mint scar pipe, but he doesn't have body armor or a weapon on him. Alright, so actually, you're going to be going to jail for that. Uh, there's no reason for you to be uh, outside right now. Dispatch, look at the transport unit down here to Howick Avenue and Alta Street. Alright, boys, we got to move back down the street and search for this armored suspect. they got to be inside the, uh, the what's it called, construction yard over here. Alright, I'm going to hop into the fence here. There we go. Alright, I'm not seeing this guy. Okay, jumping down. This may have been a false alarm, to be honest. A little disappointing. Either way, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Uh, we are getting a little bit long on time, so we're probably going to end the episode in a minute here. But either way, I hope you did enjoy it. Please hit the like button, too. I just want to try and find this guy really quick, because he's got to be around here. Let's see. Alright, dispatch. This may have been a false alarm. I'm not seeing anybody. You know what? Actually, let's get down here. Let's check over here really quick. Yeah, I'm not... Not seeing anybody over here. Uh, what about up in this alleyway? It's possible. Let's see. Climb up here. No, nope, not seeing him there. Not there either. All right, boys, let's check this alleyway, and if not, we'll return to base. Yeah, I'm not seeing the guy. Okay. Looks like we're going to be code for on that one. Wait. No. Alright. 
that. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. I thought we were going to get into a huge shootout with this guy. Apparently not. Either way, guys, I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up and when we do live streams. All right, guys, take it easy. Thank you.